what year are we in? What what month? What is space? What is time? We don't know. Okay. I feel like I need to scoot closer to the camera. Do I need to scoot closer? Is that better? I don't know. You want a more zoomed in version of my face? I apologize to any author who comes across this video and I pronounce your name wrong. I'm sorry. I don't know how to say words. It's not like I'm a writer or anything. Welcome back everyone, I am Emily, and it's December, and it has been a while. Today I have 12 short story recommendations for you. Some of them are serious, some of them are not. One of them scared the crap out of me. But I'm the kind of person that got scared at the first trailer for IT. I didn't even see the movie, just the trailer scared me, so you're gonna have to judge for yourself. I think I'm going to title this video something along 12 short stories to cure your reading slump because these are some of the best stories that I have read that have just stuck with me and a lot of them I read years ago but I can still remember them off the top of my head and go, yes, those were good. The first three stories on that list are all by Ursula Vernon because she is a fantastic short story writer. The first is Jackalope Wives, which won the Nebula Award and I think the Hugo Award and maybe the World Fantasy Award. It won all the things. The second is Tomato Thief, which is a sequel to that story, and the third is Razorback. Jackalope Wives and Tomato Thief are great if you want some mythology that's not the normal type of mythology, with really weird critters and an old lady main character who is really awesome and snarky. Razorback is for anyone who likes that sort of thing, only they want witches and a pig. And who doesn't want talking pigs? Story number four is for all of you out there who really like fairy stories but are kind of tired of all the fairy porn. And that is Tom Tom by K.M. Faraby over at Tor.com. It is a fantastic, creepy, ethereal story about a young boy and a changeling fairy who becomes sort of his friend slash brother. It's a great story. I cannot sell this story enough. Just go read it. Ooh, you know what else is by her? The Earth and Everything Under. Same author over at Shimmer Magazine. I'm gonna add that story in. That story is going, all of these will be in the description below. I don't know why I did this. The Earth and Everything Under is a great story about a witch. A lot of these stories are about witches. It's a great story about a witch and birds that start coming out of the ground. We're gonna make that story number five. And story number six is if you need a chuckle, and I'm going to try to say this title without looking at my notes. I am Growl- <laughs> I am Growlnik of the Vroom Empire. Supreme Overlord. Destroyer of Worlds. No, that's not right. I am Growlnik of the Vroom Empire. Destroyer of Galaxies. Supreme Overlord of the Planet Earth. Ask me anything. This is a story by Laura Perlman at Flash Fiction Online about aliens on Reddit and radishes. Need I say more? Story number seven is if you are super easily scared, like me, afraid of the trailer It, and you want a creepy story and you're not done with Halloween yet. And that is You Know How the Story Goes by Tom Hulvet. This is a creepy story about a hitchhiker and a really creepy thing that happens when he gets picked up on the side of the road. Also, I'm never going hitchhiking. Not that I ever would, but I'm really not now. As someone who doesn't like horror, I really enjoyed it. <laughs> Story number eight is All the Red Apples Have Withered to Grey by Gwendolyn Christie. This is a story about the orchard that gives all the witches and like the Grimm's fairy tales the poison apples, only it puts a different spin on it, and it's so good. I gotta say, this is another story where it's, if you really are tired of the crappy YA versions of fairy tales, go read this because it is so far away from a crappy retelling. Number nine is for anyone who likes subtle fantasy and lots of drama. That is The Proper Motion of Extraordinary Stars by Kelly Wallace. What a title. What a story. Also in Shimmer Magazine. Four of these recommendations are from Shimmer Magazine. Shimmer is great, you guys. They went out of business, and I'm sad. They're great. Go read, go read the whole magazine. It's fine. The Proper Motion of Extraordinary Stars has really cool bird people. That's all I'm going to say. I don't want to spoil a lot of these for you. Short fiction is so easy to spoil because it usually revolves around one sort of premise, so I don't want to give too much away. Just go check them out. If you want to read a really smart young female heroine, 
go read Of Blood and Brine by Megan O'Keefe. That is story number 10. It is also at Shimmer. It is a very unique story based on someone who makes sort of like perfumes that are linked to people's names. It is the coolest story. For those of you who want an inspiring ghost story with an uplifting, heartwarming ending that still sort of hits you right in the chest, story recommendation number 11 is A Whisper in the Weld by Alexis E. Harrow. Over at Shimmer, once more, it is about a ghost that haunts a factory in order to save her children. It is really inspiring. A lot of these stories at Shimmer have really inspired me to write, and when I feel like I'm in a reading slump or a writing slump, I can go back and reread these because they're so lyrical and so awesome, and I just need to share them all with you. If you want to read some hard science fiction with a bit of a sappy twist, go read Salvage Opportunity by John Skill instead. It is a really cool science fiction story set on a different planet that involves sad robots and need I say more? I think not. And number 13 is if you want a seriously gritty but heartfelt fairy tale that is The Wolf and the Tower Unwoven by Kelly Sandoval over at Uncanny Magazine. That was a mouthful. Uncanny Magazine. Kelly Sandoval writes a lot of great stuff. I would encourage you to look her up in general. She ran a magazine for a while. She's a great writer. But The Wolf in the Tower Unwoven is about an older lady who might not be very human and a wolf that gets turned into a human. I'm realizing how many of these stories are sort of twisted fairy tales. I love them. Hey, 13 stories. It's Friday the 13th today. That sounds a lot creepier than it is. Only one of these stories is really creepy. Does that mean like if you go read all 13 stories today, you're gonna get like a curse put on you or something? That sounds right. Mm. So that is 13 short story recommendations on Friday the 13th, only one of which is creepy, to possibly cure your reading or writing slump. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to subscribe and ding that little notification bell. Just say it, I might be uploading a bonus video tomorrow. I upload videos on Fridays on books or movies or writing, except for the last three weeks because I'm in school and I was dead and I don't want to talk about it. But when I do upload videos, they're usually on Friday, except for the other day, which was like a Sunday. I upload videos at certain times, so I mean, ding the notification bell and you might get notified sometimes. Okay, I don't know what I'm saying. Go, go read some great fiction. I'll see you guys tomorrow and or next week. Probably tomorrow though. So, yeah. Bye!